name is Maeve Canelli, and I am pleased to be hosting this News Now Health Update. I am a prevention specialist with Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, and I am here featuring my colleague, Lisa Gibellario. Lisa is a public health educator with Wayside, and together we oversee the Belmont Wellness Coalition. Today, we're going to talk about how teens can stay substance-free during the summer months. So, Lisa, with summer approaching, grad season and parties and hanging out are happening. Um, what can parents do to help their kids stay safe this summer with regard to using substances? Thanks, Maeve. So yes, there are several best practices that I do recommend to parents, you know, and this applies to the whole year, but as you said, summer tends to be a time when there are a lot of festivities happening, um, especially for kids who are have just graduated, right? Kid, you know, they're getting ready to say goodbye to their friends who are going off to different colleges. So um, here is what I say to parents: make your expectations very clear around your kids not using substances. Data suggests that when parents talk about this topic with their kids, those are the kids that delay the longest. Um, so what do you talk about? Definitely talk about the risks, talk about the impacts to the developing brain, talk about the higher rates of accidents that can happen, sexual assault, uh, alcohol poisoning. So let them know that drinking a lot impacts their good judgment and there can be you know, dangerous things that come out of it. And one last tip that I often give parents is to consider waiting up at curfew time so that you can give them a hug and you can get some data. You can have a sense of what's been happening that evening. And talking about supervision, are parents um, expected to stay at home when youth are gathering in their home? So yes, when, when your teen is having friends over, it is really advisable for at least one parent to be at home and to be supervising. And the reason I say this, Maeve, is because the social host liability law in Massachusetts is very clear that if anything goes wrong, if anything happens to one of those underage kids, you, the homeowner, are liable. So yes, supervising is still important even as your kids get older. So it sounds like parents should be supervising their kids, talking with their kids about substances. Um, what else do you recommend? So I recommend uh, getting to know the, the parents of your kids' friends. Reach out to them, have a coffee, or you know, get together somewhere and talk about this stuff. Say, you know, do you have a curfew? What are your thoughts on supervision? What are, you know, how are you handling the you know substances? Um, really helpful to get together and just talk about expectations and exchange cell phone numbers so that you can be in touch with each other as different events unfold throughout the summer. And in terms of storing alcohol, should parents be locking up their liquor cabinet or where they may store alcohol? So some parents do, Maeve. I've heard of parents who definitely do. And some during these teenage years don't keep it in the house at all. They might order a cocktail when they're out to dinner or they might have a little wine uh, for special holiday occasions, but they've just decided during these years just to keep it out of the house. You know, that's kind of a family decision, but sure, I think it's not a bad idea to lock it up and, and reduce that temptation. Are kids um, too old for consequences, say they violate the expectations parents have set around substance use? You know, I don't think they're too old. Uh, that's, again, a family decision. But if you tell your teen that there will be consequences and they violate an expectation, you absolutely have to follow through on, you know, having a consequence. Um, any last thoughts? Ah, uh, sure. I would say that if you are a parent who likes to have a little alcohol, which is perfectly fine over the age of 21, that you do model responsible drinking habits. Um, I would also say that your kids, our kids are not perfect. They will make mistakes. And when they make the mistake, you know, don't come down too, too hard. Offer support. You know, use it as a learning experience. Um, but at the same time, you know, hold any lines that you have set for them. And I guess I would also say that, 
know what's important during these years, you know, so the messy rooms or maybe, you know, not emptying the dishwasher on time. This is a good time to perhaps let some of that stuff slide a little bit, because what you really want to focus on is the health and the safety. But I guess the, the big point to underscore, Maeve, is that keep those lines of communication open. Talk about uh, substances. Talk about the impacts. And again, be in touch with other parents um, around this topic. Thank you, Lisa. That was great information. And thank you for tuning in to this News Now Health Update.